Hey guys, welcome back to House Flipper 2 with Rash from Rash Decision. If you are enjoying the content, please leave a like and subscribe to let me know. Enjoy the video. Alright, we're going to pick right back up. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, no emails still. Okay. I think we just have the one. Yeah, just the one on Crayfish. Oh, we have two actually. We have a new one on Crayfish is what we're looking at here. Crew is moving here. This is the one we looked at previously. Um... We've got a group of video content creators, influencers, if you will, and we got lucky when my uh, uncle, I'm sorry, offered to rent us his spacious seaside house. He's a sailor. He's rarely home. Isn't the best of shape. Okay, it's a standard kind of uh, fix-me-up kind of situation going on here. What do we need? Mostly cleaning, refreshing the walls, definitely replacing old furniture, and unpacking our stuff. Standard stuff we've been doing so far. Um, getting kind of disappointed actually. I really hope we get the uh, building to demolish soon. Maybe when we start a house that might give us it. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, let's see. Thanks for helping us. We're interested in gaming, technology, fashion, and makeup. Oh, but subscribe to our channels. Okay, I feel that. I really actually do. Building this channel from scratch makes me feel that way. But at the same time, um, gaming, technology, fashion, makeup, just want to relax. Um, I know it's a group, but I feel like that's a little bit too much of a. Uh, they're stretching themselves too thin. They're they're not they're not picking their niche and sticking with it. But uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll begin this one since this one's an old one that's still just waiting in the wings for us. All right. Oh, this is a nice house. Has that uh, French colonial vibe to it still, with the nice little stilts and like the the short little. Uh, I guess not really French Colonial then, is it? It doesn't really have like the nice wrap around or large. Oh, I guess it does. It do it not quite doesn't quite wrap around, but it does have a really. No well, I guess that's a balcony, isn't it? Well, either way, uh, have a porch on the back, so I guess this really wouldn't classify as French Colonial, at least not specifically. Um, it is still nice. I like this. I like this. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that there's no support under here whatsoever. It's all at the edges. That's a little bit weird. I can't I can't overlook that. That's a little bit weird. This house would probably collapse pretty easily right here, especially if there's a wall above it. We're going to find out, actually, if there's a wall above that. Maybe if it's empty, I guess it'd be okay. Nope, there's a wall going straight down the center. This house would collapse. But honestly, though, like taking a look around, uh, yeah, I kind of like this. This is a really nice, this is an interesting layout. Okay, so that goes up and up. So that's probably, a, yeah, that's a landing and it goes up again. Got a bathroom in here. It's a nice bathroom, actually. Oh, wow, what happened here? Good look. Did the ceiling fall in at some point? What happened here? Did the... Did someone bust in and then replace the window? <laughs> anyway, let's see. Well, this one looks nice. I'm guessing the uh, the uncle was probably staying in this room and just kind of left the rest of the house to, to its devices. So I'm actually going to start in here because I'm, I'm kind of curious what's going on in this room. Why is there... Why... Well, what? Oh, mold. Okay, so there's some mold, just some water damage going on in here. And I said previously in another video that Seaside is not a great place for mold to grow because of the salt. I found out that it's not true, so I greatly apologize if I've misled you on that. Um, just the high humidity is all it really needs. Salt just um, retains water, so it doesn't uh, allow the mold to grow as fast, but the fact that it retains water, it will get like into paint or into the walls, into the structure, and retain that water there. It means that the mold will continue to grow over a very, very long period of time rather than uh, simply uh, just growing there normally, like in whatever humidity was there to begin with. So like the moisture in the wood wouldn't causes much mold um, over a shorter period of time whereas like a, a salt water in like wood would actually cause like uh, a little bit more mold over a much longer period of time because it's uh, retaining that water for so long so I'm not seeing any more trash here looks like we don't need that don't need that don't need that don't need that okay 
And of course, we're going to get to this here in just a moment. Uh, we're probably going to be... So, yep, I called it. Got to get rid of all this. No, don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these just so I can have a look in here. What's the point of cleaning that stain if I'm just going to sell the rug anyway, right? So there it is. So something like this, just cleaning the outside of this wouldn't really cut it for this kind of damage. Like, uh, I know the game, again, has to be made accessible and you have to have uh, some kind of cleaning solution that doesn't uh, <laughs> break the character's back just trying to hold their finger down or trying to search through a whole bunch of tools or what have you. But something like that, that would honestly require, like, tearing out this wall, making sure you're getting the source of the mold, all the moisture out of the wall, etc., etc., using, like, a dehumidifier, um, even using, like, a, a rock salt that's kind of just held up there to kind of absorb the moisture or rice or something like that. Uh, or even just removing all of the moisture damaged. Um, okay, so we're going to be doing a little bit, I'm guessing paint. Yep, yeah, looks like paint. Oh, more green. Well, you know what? I, I could, well... That's a little bit strange. But anyway, um, yeah, you'd want to like tear all of the material out that has moisture damage. Because anything that uh, has mold or had had mold in it at one point, even if you can't see any more mold on the surface, that doesn't really mean much. All that really means is that you've gotten rid of what mold was on the surface. Anything that's underneath, that's going to grow right back and it's going to come back and really bite you in the ass later on down the line. Let's see. That's an odd color choice. But I'm going to go with it. Again, oh, come on, mouse, really? Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to do this. I really don't like that green. It's like a crazy bright color next to that wood. And I'm definitely more feeling the gray, even though it's going to be a little bit less visually interesting. I feel like the gray is just going to work a little bit better for what their purposes are entailing. Uh, unless they're trying to, if it was like the whole wall, I'd say sure, because they're doing a green screen, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to do all of it in gray at first, and I'm going to see if there's like some kind of accent I can do. Whoops. That might make sense here. And I was told uh, in a previous comment that WASD, I thought it meant move me, like in relation to... Uh, the wall or the roller, but apparently it actually just means move the roller. Uh, so I've kind of been doing it a little bit of almost the hard way for these like wide reaching walls. And on top of that, I've actually been uh, <laughs> messing myself up because I've been trying to move me when actually uh, instead of standing going back away from the wall, I'm doing like this and it's just going into that sticky spot and I can't get out of it with the mouse because I've got control with the keyboard. So... I'm going to try to watch out for that for here. Oh, I just noticed. I'm actually hit. Oh, the inside of the windows are already gray. So that's actually going to work out really nicely. Um, even though it's a little bit less uh, visually interesting, I'm actually just going to do all of it in gray. And that's just because that green is a really, really powerful green. It's not going to look very good against that, uh, that dull uh, driftwood at all. I might pick like a little sample spot here in just a moment and just see what it looks like comparatively, but I'm pretty sure it's going to look absolutely, um, you know what, I'm actually just going to go ahead and put it out there. I, mean, I think it's going to look horrendous, but I'm still going to put it up there just to see what kind of thing we're dealing with because I, I don't think it's going to work with that driftwood. It's just too, that driftwood is too muted and that green is too bright. I, I don't think it's going to work out too well. Yeah, look at, look at that. Using the keys on the keyboard is a lot nicer, isn't it? Look at that. It probably helps that I do play a lot of uh, racing games. I decided not to base my YouTube channel around racing games or racing simulators because even though I can play them, I play them at a high level, uh, particularly Forza Horizon. That is my favorite racing series by far uh, because it is a little bit more uh, drag and, or I'm sorry, not drag and drop, drop and add or drop and... Uh, uh, or play and drop, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Uh, so it's a little bit easier to get into and out of when you don't want to play it for a long period of time. Let's see, I'm going to go down to one. 
And we're just gonna paint like a little spot right here to see what, it, oh my God, that is crazy green. No, I hate that. Why would they, why would they ask for that? Why? I've seen like the lime green, like, uh, uh, challengers you see around the uh, around uh like the dodge challengers like the rt and the srt8 that have like the lime green from the late 2000s about 2008 to 2010 give or take uh it looks great on those but that's because they have like the black accents or dark colors that can kind of contrast here those don't exist so all that's uh, left is just this driftwood and because the driftwood, I mean, yeah, it has some greens in it, but if this was like a more muted green, like a forest green, it would look great. But because it's that big, bright neon green, it looks horrible and I can't stand it. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it as gray and we're going to call that done. And let's see, we need to buy some stuff here. Got a bed. I keep, I still keep trying to put uh, push uh, shift to do orthodox angles, but in this game you don't need to do that. You just go to press, uh, snap to grid, and it goes to 45. So orthodox angles, and then uh, can hit R precise placement. Um, so previously I didn't realize it was R that was doing that, but uh, my recording software, the keybind I had set for it was Alt R, uh, but I actually actually I'm sorry I had actually had to change it because. Um, it was apparently causing the precise placement not to work correctly. Even though I was pushing the button, it just wasn't uh, accepting, I guess, the word for it. Let's put this over here. Now, do see I have a desk. I'm actually going to put the desk like, right here. Because um, I think it's going to look a little bit better. There's a microphone. Let's see... Speaking of microphones, I'm actually working on uh, getting a better microphone. The microphone I have is actually a wonderful little microphone, but they've actually gone way up in price since I first bought it. Uh, I guess I just kind of got in on their early release. I'm not exactly sure. It's a file cabinet. I'm going to put that next to the desk. Let's kind of get these out of the way here since I'm not going to be placing a nightstand. Or I am, and I'm just an idiot. <laughs> okay. Um, call me a liar do it right now oh you did thank you please hurt me more daddy anyway so we're gonna put this over here oh no that's much wider than i thought it was gonna be ah uh, crap i don't want to put it in front of the window because then you have the glare of the window in front of you when you're trying to do something on the monitor and believe me i've done that before that's not fun uh can't really put the bed there because the nice thing is good next to it i might be able to put the bed here put the desk here i'm not really getting a lot of guidance on this so i'm going to try i'm just going to try this nope that's not going to work because that's blocking the door okay so that has to go there hmm. maybe i'm just going to have to put it in front of the window and just kind of suck it up what else do I have? So I just have like the desk area and like the file cabinet. So I can really leave this stuff kind of right here and kind of shimmy this desk in. Okay. Yeah, that's going to fit really nicely right there. I think this is what they had in mind. But I don't much care for it personally. Having that window right behind. I've done this before. I've done this kind of setup before where you're you have a window right behind your desk. I guess as long as like the the sun never comes on the side, but judging by the 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 shape of those shadows, it's going to because it's going to come up like right there. So if you try to do anything in the morning on this thing, it's going to blind the ever living crap out of you. Huh, recommend some really nice curtains is what I recommend here. Okay, so this is a full stand. Anyway, I was, I was right. I was saying. Uh, okay, so let's see that. There we go. Maybe I can shimmy this in here. There we go. It's not perfect, but you can kind of shimmy it around as we need to. I keep using that word. I'm not quite sure why. I'm just. I mean, I'm just addicted to it today. I guess. Well, I'm going to move this over 
slide this in here because there's apparently not a place next to the door to put it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. That works perfectly fine. And then in here, looks like we just need a wardrobe. And it's kind of what I figured out. I'm trying to rebuild the closet as a closet. And then dresser and mirror. Okay, so put the dresser over here. Then I'll put the mirror right here. Using the floor to kind of visually center it. Let me pick that up a little bit. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now I just need to unpack these boxes and this room will be done. And we've got a computer. That's kind of what I figured. And we'll put that... Oh, no. That's a... That's a... I'm... It's a microwave. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was a computer. Maybe, like, turned on its side. Okay. Uh... A lamp. Okay, so we're getting back to normally uh, normalcy here. Uh, got some weights. Put those over next to the desk. Got another weights. Go. Get rid of that box. Small stuff. Bag of chips. Okay. Just slide that in here. Another bag of chips. <laughs> is this what this is gonna be? Is this what this is gonna be? You packed up food? Like, I get it, you know? You want to save what you what you purchase. Is there going to be, like, some variety in here? Am I going to have to worry about this person's nutritional intake? I mean, I'm only a handyman. I can only do so much for you. But, my dude, you can't... You can't subsist on chips and energy drinks. I've, oh my god, I've spoken to people like this before. I've genuinely spoken to people like this before. Who genuinely think they can subsist on, like, junk food and energy drinks. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. Okay, moving on. Alright, uh, big old poster, like it. Company of Champions, there's the computer. Okay, so normally the computer would go to the right. Go. And I'm just saying to the right because if you build a PC, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to move these. I'm going to put those on the bottom shelf of this, this over here. I'm actually going to put that on the floor. Uh, normally, actually the way that I do it is very similar to this. I just would move this over a little bit and uh, put my filing cabinet here. And actually that's what I use as a filing cabinet and put the computer on top of the filing cabinet. Um, the problem is that this desk is centered on this window and looks very nice visually. Besides that, I don't know where I would put the mic if I did that. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to finagle with it too much. I'm going to say there's probably multiple monitors here, so I'm going to put that there just to ha 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 can't fool me. Three of them. I kind of figured. Okay, so we're going to leave orthodox angles on. and I'm actually going to center this one. Well, I can't center it. Why can't I center that? Let's try there we go. Now it's centered. I'm going to Go. using orthodox angles to kind of pitch it to 45 and then uh, precise placement to get in into the correct place looks like I've actually got that one too far forward kind of goofed there looks like that's close enough okay and I'm guessing keyboard yep and I'm guessing the next piece is going to be a mouse Okay, uh, just speaking of computers, one of the things I had thought about playing for the channel is actually a PC Building Simulator. Uh, that's kind of a future thing though. I'm not going to do that like right away. Uh, so this is just a camera, so they were probably gonna use that as their uh, filming. I don't know if I'm gonna use a webcam myself when I 
start moving forward. If I can get to the point of monetization, I absolutely will. But a mic is something I use for Discord, so that's something that uh, I might uh, look into very soon. Now, I do like PC building and uh, technology in the real world. I'm an IT technician, so I do know quite a bit about what I'm doing here as far as like my physical space. Um, I already have some plans in place when uh, our house is fully renovated and I get to move out of this apartment that I'm in. Uh, I will be using one of the rooms in that house as a studio. I mean, I'm going to be building it from the ground up as a studio. Okay, so we're probably going to keep those pots and just get rid of the plants. Okay, okay, okay. Dang, there's a lot of stuff in here to get rid of. That's trash, trash, trash. I'm trying to sell all this stuff so I can have an easy idea of what I'm looking to get rid of for uh, trash and whatnot. Don't need to sell that, okay. All this. Okay. Looks like, uh, nah, that's perfectly fine, okay. Then we'll go back, oh, we've got more stuff to sell. Maybe, no. Aha! There's three of them. Wait. Does this count? It's part of the, I gotta get to that room later. Okay, so this is a much larger house and uh, project than I thought it was gonna be. I should have kept the, uh, why are there bloody footprints? What, what, why are there bloody footprints? What, what is with this game and murder scenes? Like, there's, there's clearly drag marks here. What were you dragging that was dark red? What did you step in that was dark red? Why is this stain here with drag marks next to it? Why, game? I'm not a trauma cleaner. I am a handyman. Okay, so I'm going to have to... What? Oh, I completely... I'm looking all the way over down here. Like, where is it? Where is it? It's all up here on the wall. Uh, I got to tell you, I used to get super upset. I used to get super, super upset at uh, watching YouTubers, especially Mark Blower, like way back in the day, like 2014, 2015. Uh, watching him just kind of fumble around puzzle games and uh, adventure games, that sort of thing. Oh, he, he always used to play like horror games, that sort of thing. Uh, but I used to always get so upset with it. It's like, it's right there, Mark. It's right there. And then and now that I'm actually trying to do YouTube myself, I'm doing the same thing. <sighs> I want to tell you something. When you're trying to talk and entertain while you're doing this, it, uh, it, it cuts your attention span completely in half. Like, you are lucky if you can keep up with both the conversation and the game at the same time at full capacity. No, I'm going to say not lucky. You are truly more skilled at this than I am, especially at the stage that I'm at. Like, I know I'll get better. Like, my charisma's definitely improved over just what I've done so far. What am I looking for? A plant? I thought I got rid of all the plants. There's that one. Is there one, like, stuck down in one of these pots? Did I miss one somewhere? Is it over here? No. There? No. I don't know where it is. <gasps> Hiding up here on the shelf. I did completely, it was like my brain, just like that right there, my brain completely just omitted this item from my field of vision as I was walking around here. It's exactly what I'm talking about. Trying to keep up the conversation uh, just really is a detriment to your actual attention span. It's like, what you, <laughs> I need hyper-threading in my brain. That's exactly what I need. All right. So I started talking a little bit about this uh, this mic that I have. That was the stain where I had to have the spray. So it's a good thing I had it. I'm actually going to straighten this because I don't like it being here like that. There we go. That makes me feel better. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So the mic that I have, it's, it's from a company called Tonor. T-O-N-O-R. I bought it for like 20 bucks. Uh, like a few years ago, I don't remember exactly how long ago I bought this. It was right around when COVID started, I wanted to say. 
but I'm not actually sure because I remember at the time I was replacing my old bike uh, because for my job as a IT technician, I was um, moving to work from home. And when that happened, I don't know which one to put this in. Maybe this one? No? Come on, there we go. I've noticed I've had to, I have to use a precise place when to get it centered sometimes. Uh, that's a large one, is it? No, it's a small one, okay. Well, relatively. And a spider plant, that's a decently sized one, but uh, it's going to clip through the window, isn't it? Yep, it's clipping right on through. But uh, this mic actually has is, is shocked me, honestly. I never once thought I would find a mic of this quality for the price that I paid for it. Man, I've got a lot of large plants. Maybe move some of these over to like these smaller pots. Because I was replacing what's called a Samson Meteor mic from many years ago. Which I thought honestly was like a really, really big upgrade over just like the, uh, the microphone coming off my headset at the time. Uh, let's see. Oh, place. Then we're gonna keep that. Yes, much better. Okay, and now we can go on. Uh, that's pretty small. Let's see what else we need. Uh, I know that one's fairly large. I know this one's. Oh wow, that was small too. Am I retarded? <laughs> like I remember these plants. I've placed them before, but I swear they were much bigger than I remember them being right now. You know what? I'm just gonna go. For, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Uh, if I think too much on it, all I'm gonna do is drive myself insane. So I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna call it good. Calling it good. Awesome. Let's see. And so, oh wait, that's right. I, I did this one over here. So let me move that. Uh, that was a little bit too wide for that spot. This one looks good for that spot, so we'll move this one over here. There we go. Excellent. Now we'll put this one. Uh, that's a little bit too large for that, isn't it? Let's put this over here. I hate it, but, you know, the, the clipping is its going to have to be there for this one. I'm just going to put this right on in here just so I have a pot that's large enough for it. Okay. I'm going to... Got a table. Yeah, right now I have a. I know Best Buy is not doing so hot lately, but I've got a. Come on, really? I've got a really nice credit account with them. I'm thinking about throwing some uh, some of that into upgrading the, this mic. Could do like a, a Yeti or something that'd be on the cheap side, or I could just you know go straight and maybe like a Shure. I guess it really depends on what this comes out to be. Because this is actually an experimental video. I am using this one. There we go. And... Wait a minute. I have a feeling the one to the left here isn't as far in as it can be. It is not. Okay. So this is a bit of an experimental video where I'm actually splitting off recording the video from the game and splitting off uh, my audio separately. Or my mic input, rather, I should say. Let's see. In the holiday video, the happy holiday video I did, let me see what I've got. Uh, that was a plant stand. Okay. Might be able to move some of those plants into it then. Kind of get this thing out of the way. Uh, I could probably just put that right there, couldn't I? Let's kind of get some of these out of the way here. There we go. Nice and green. Okay. Let's see, coffee table case carpet it looks like we're not doing a tv so i can kind of get away with putting whatever anywhere i move this out away from that so i don't scratch up that door when they try to open it let's see 
No, well, I could actually probably just put this against this wall then. I was worried about the spacing of having to put it over here, but I guess if we're not putting up a TV, we don't have to. Okay, I'll do a coffee table. There we go. Then we'll actually kind of put this chair over here, kind of facing in a little bit. Let's kind of pull that in a little bit, actually. Give me a nice walk through thoroughfare here. go put the lamp on the table put the rug underneath the table put the clock over here Ooh, actually you know what I'm gonna put the clock above the plant stand I'm gonna take up this little blank spot on the wall here that's a little bit weird the stripes make the clock a little bit difficult to see but it's okay Put that there. I'm actually going to center that a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Okay. Got that done. Everything is done here. I'm going to go out here because I think I saw, yeah, it looks like probably just some cleanup if I had to guess. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Might have to purchase like a new plant or two, but it looks like this one's going to be a... Uh... Oh, come on. Stop. 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 Oh! There we go. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to have to replace these plants, but other than that, probably not much. Hello, let's get rid of that. Okay. And I'm actually going to straighten this out. I don't like the fact that this flat square one is in the corner like that. I'm actually going to use this one as the corner. Kind of bring this one out a little bit. We'll put a big plant in that if I can. Okay, so I'm going to have to build an agave here. Oh. I'm putting a seating area out here. If that's the case, I'm just going to move this right on over here. Actually, I think this over here is what they're intending. The Oh, they wanted me to put the lamp in the middle of that table, didn't they? Nah, screw it. I've already got it placed. So I'm going to do this, this, that, I'm trying to create kind of color groups when I do that, and I want this one to be right here. Because it has that round stem, it'll work a little bit better with that round pot. Let's go ahead and place this while I'm thinking about it. Got some this. We'll put this like front and center. I'm not gonna worry too much about the fact that, you know, you it's not fully, so actually I am going to fuss about it. Over here saying, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, I'm going to fuss about it. Now it looks like it's not going to matter because I can't really do much better with it anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and place this. I don't like where that's... There we go. Let's go ahead and put out a coffee table. Let's put it like right here there. Let's kind of put that off center. Kind of make it look a little nicer, heavier away from the... Uh... There we go. Looks good. I see a, a series of quests. Aha. No trespass. Oh. Uh, doesn't do any good up here, guys. And oh, they've even faced. Oh, really? They're going to make me do this. Well, time to watch me fail. Uh, nope. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. There it is. Looks. Oh, come on. Yeah, it looks like it's at like the perfect distance. I was not expecting. I was expecting to overthrow it. 
Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, that, that. Lovely. Again, there are no trees here that have these leaves. Where did these leaves come from? Vacuuming magic leaves, don't worry about me. All right, that's clean, love it. Okay, we'll come in here, we'll clean our new murder scene. Why, why, why? How many murder scenes are they gonna throw at me? Like, is this, is this what this game is now? Murder scenes uh, cleaner simulator? Trauma and bio cleaner simulator? <laughs> I'm sure there's one of those out. No, actually, I know there's one of those out there. I've seen it before now that I think about it. And once again, I'm going to open these just to make sure. Look in the fridge, too, just in case. sold everything so let's go ahead and clean up the, the murder spree that happened why why are you doing this to me okay that's taken care of then poke our heads in here that's right this was the really nice bathroom nothing in there There's nothing in there let's go ahead and step out on the back porch just to double check it good let's head upstairs because I noticed we're not even up to one star yet, and we've done multiple rooms. Why is there only one slipper here? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, what are we doing in here? Aha. Oh, I like this room. It has the vaulted ceiling. I like that. I love vaulted ceilings. I've, I've, I've always loved them. I love how much vertical space they give. So it looks like all I've got to do in here is uh, unpack boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. They had my vote until I solved this. Fine. What is this? Is that like a tray? I guess it is. I'm not quite sure. Let's kind of get that off there. Put this over here. I guess it's like a document tray. It's all I can. Oh, well. Okay, I do have this. I have the right way. I was looking at the silhouette. What is that? Oh! Oh, I know what that is. Okay, okay, okay. It's like one of those little statue things. Let's go put that over here. A couple statue. That's what that is. Put that over there. Let's see. What is that? Aha, it's like a jewelry box thing. Okay, put that on a nightstand. Candle. Let's put that on a nightstand. Got another candle. Looks like it's a short and tall pair. What's this? Looks like, okay. We can put that like right there. That's fine. Got another one. And a star. Another star. You know what? Like that. I like it. Okay, got a little wicker basket. What is that? Looks like maybe like a makeup case. Makeup, makeup, nail polish. Okay, I'm guessing all this can like go in here. Is what I'm thinking. 
Maybe that's kind of like the point of this tray. Yeah, it looks like there's like several pieces going in here. Like these little accessories that they that you can put down, I've noticed they've definitely improved their accessory game for uh, House Flipper Two. What's in here? Nothing. No skeletons in this one. Oh, maybe we're gonna install. Some oh, we got more. No, it's not water damage. It's just mm, that might be water damage. It's old water damage, but it's, it's still water damage. Let's see. Okay. I'm actually trying to keep the talking to a minimum at this point because I saw how large this job is going to be. I don't want this to be like a massive, massive uh, episode because I already see I'm over 40 minutes. Uh, let's see. Okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and buy. Oh, we're just put, we're putting a desk in here. Okay. Uh, I don't see a great way to do this. I'm just going to put the desk kind of like right here and I'll put the dresser like next to it. Shove it over as far as I can. And I'm guessing these boxes are going to have like a computer in them. Yep, called it. Okay. I'm actually going to try to move this over a little bit again. Same reason as last, uh, that last room, uh, or that previous room, I guess I should say. I want to kind of put the computer there. I kind of figured it would only be one. I don't like that. I'm trying to push it back as far as I can here. Kind of move it over a little bit to give room for the mouse. Yep, called it. Okay. Red and black. My wife would love it. There we go. Maybe a little game console. Either a Switch or a... Steam Deck. Well, I guess I really did. I did decide that is a, a Steam Deck, didn't I? Huh. Oh, wait. The FS7. Wasn't that the console? Yeah, that was supposed to be the console. Huh. I mean, I don't really care. They're, it's their stuff. They can do whatever they want with it. But, I mean, are they trying to imply that this is the mobile version of the console I guess if so why would it be in this large of a case because there's no way those have like anything less than a standard you know disc in them and this isn't going to run an optical disc uh, whatever oh I'm not done in here oh I'm painting something white and blue okay so blue I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie it would look great in here actually uh, let's actually see what it wants me to do all of it. Okay. And I see that we already have the blue coming in. Or maybe that's the white. Let me... Yeah, that's the white. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I could, I could see this. I could see this working. So I'm actually going to do the blue in here. I love that you just splatter paint all over everything when you run over it but then the masking tape just makes it go away it seems so much like cheating I mean it really is again they had to make the game accessible right they don't want it to be Super difficult for any real reason. Again, if you're watching developers, if you ever see this content, I'm not making fun of you or anything. It's it's just so amusing. The, the steps you kind of have to take to make a game accessible like this. Because obviously, masking off 
isn't an end-all be-all solution. You would still have to be very careful and color inside the lines, as you would say. Let's see, here we go. Let's grab it and we'll draw. Oh, hello, I lost it. Love it. Got some uh, sound effects for your sound effects. Even though the game has its own sound effects, I don't care. I wanted my own. So there. And I do have to say that painting is very satisfying in this game. It is one of the more cathartic things you can do. Especially when you're covering up like old uh, wall that just is ugly or doesn't really make make you feel okay. You can just cover it up with paint and move on with life. Look at that. Matches the bed. I actually like this paint choice. There we go. Ten bucks says I need more in there. How much you want to bet? Uh, oh! I just need to clean the window. I was fully expecting they wanted me to paint this room blue as well. And I was about to get very upset with myself for selling that bucket. But nope, there it is. That's all I had to do. Okay. And we're done in here. Let's see. I'm guessing. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay. So this is the last room we need to do. And this one is a, it's a bit of a doozy because it looks like there's been some uh, attempted renovations in here, but they haven't gone too well. So first step, as always, going to get rid of everything that can be sold because that's our biggest items and it's going to clean up the most space the quickest. We go. Get out, get out. And I'm just going to go in here just when I have while I have the tool at hand. Okay, I see everything's gone. Go ahead and start trash pickup. And I noticed the window was open, and then there, there's the, all this sitting here. So I'm going to do this while I'm standing here, and I'm going to vacuum. Again, where did these leaves come from? Okay. So again, old water damage, but not like bad water damage i wouldn't i wouldn't really if i walked into a closet and i saw this the, the first thought, th thought i would have is who is changing the oil in their diesel truck <laughs> you know like i wouldn't think mold as the first thought if it's black mold it actually doesn't look like this it looks more like this it has like the little tiny specks that kind of grow outward and turn into like little clouds so this might be mold this i don't know what this is like that that's Someone was hanging from the ceiling and decided that their graphite pencil was too graphite -y for them. So, uh, I'm go ahead and get started. And once again, we're cleaning up, you know, like mold, scratches in the wall, oil, graphite, everything with just this one cleaning cloth. It's perfect. Mr. Clean would be proud. Go, here we go, and that's right. I've got to clean this. Why is this window so far up? Well, I guess it is a closet, so it does make a little bit more sense for it to be high up because it gives like that little bit of uh, uh, privacy. But then when you think, you know, that's like that is your eye level. The the bottom latch is your eye level. So when you raise this, yeah, you get the breeze and the wind and the light, but, but that's all you're really getting. You're not getting much benefit out of that window. Okay, so everything looks okay. I just need to get everything cleaned up in here. Why the exposed brick? Like, what actually went down in here that there ended up being exposed brick and, like, OSB and the rafters? Like, what actually happened there, you know? Maybe this is the room the actual murder took place in. And it just fell into disrepair because nobody cared about it after that. Oh, that's right, it's a window. I can't clean that with this. The one thing I can't clean with the unobtainium cloth. There we go. 
I don't live too close to the coast. I don't know how this sort of thing goes down, but do sailors really just buy houses and they just let them fall to shit like this? Is this is that really what happens? I shouldn't say that. YouTube might get upset with me. About the company, the viewers. <laughs> I'm definitely not a squeaky clean person, but I really shouldn't say it like that. It hurts my viewership. Let's see. Okay. So in here, just need uh, need to make this into a closet again. Got a wardrobe. I'm gonna put the wardrobe over here as far as I can. Slides right in around that windowsill. Perfect. Whew. Sometimes I wonder. Whoops. Let's go ahead and, I'm going to catty corner this a little bit. Being we've already established the sun's only ever going to be like over there or like over there, this will be perfectly fine. The light will never slam in here and blind you when you're standing right here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the bed. That's the largest item. I've got a perfect spot for it right over here. Actually, you know what? Let's um, let's start with the paint first. Oh, we have a wallpaper option. So we're actually only hitting these two with paint. Aha! It's actually asking me for like a specific layout on this one, and then I'll probably do the wallpaper on the other two. Fine by me. Makes my job a little bit easier when I don't have to guess at it or think about it myself. I can just do it. I don't mind doing it myself. It just makes it go faster when I don't have to. When they do the thinking for me. A lot of my uh, method requ uh, requires trial and error. I'll try something neat, and if it doesn't work out, I just do it again. And I know that wastes a lot of materials, but you know what? It actually ends up with a really refined uh, finished product. And it's also something that uh, when I figure out what works, I can uh, make it work a lot faster later. Let's see, here we go. Oh, we're doing it a yellow background. That's interesting. Okay. That's right. I don't need to set borders for this one. I try to be careful and not screw myself over like I've done a couple of times now. Trying to go quickly while still being cautious. There we go. Perfect. Actually, that doesn't look that bad. Has that same kind of blue tone as uh, these walls over here. Nice little muted blue. And of course, yellow does actually go pretty well with blue. I wouldn't say like a bright yellow would. Oh, no! That's okay. I'll fix it. That's actually a pretty easy fix. I got to talking and. Screwed myself over. But as I was saying, uh, a bright yellow probably wouldn't work this well. It would have to be like a muted or a darker yellow like this. This is more like a gold almost. Okay, let's put that back. We're going to sell that. I'm actually going to... that my own fault right here but there we go I fixed it that's right come on come there we go mouse wasn't cooperating with me there for a moment let's see all right and once again let's go start with the bed I'm gonna put that right there actually I'm gonna put it right here in fact 
because I want to put this one, uh, put this desk not in front of a window if I can. I'm get close to an hour. Let's see. It's kind of, and of course I'm going to try to move it out a little bit because I know we're going to place a computer eventually. Do I have like a, no, I don't have like anything coming up as a filing cabinet or anything like that. Small cabinet. And this guy's going, this guy's going hard. This is, that's a nice desk. I like that desk. And a carpet. Where do I want the carpet? Uh, that's, that doesn't have any wheels, so I don't really have to worry about that. Kind of, kind of thinking just, why, oh, because it keeps going underneath that. That's weird. Why is it? Whew. You know what? I'm just going to put it right out here in the middle of the room. And we're not going to worry about it. I'm just going to stop worrying about it. Okay. Got a wall decor. Not really sure what to do with this. But I'm going to put it over the desk. Just to give some intrigue there. A bookcase. I'll put that over here next to the door. Next to the desk, rather. Got two of these. Uh, I'm gonna put one right there. And put the other one right there. I've also got two of these to go in it. I'm trying to center them, but it's not working too awful well with me. Let's see, I've got a shelf. You know what? I'm actually going to take this. I'm gonna put it over the bed. That's ah, a little bit too interesting, isn't it? Let's put this up above the shelf. When I say too interesting, as in it's uh, because of the intrigue of the wallpaper, I'm trying to avoid making anything too busy visually. And if I use this on this wallpaper, it just makes it too busy. Whereas if I put it on like this flat black background, um, it makes it stand out a little bit more. Its entry goes away, is muted a little bit, goes away. Okay, I've got two more boxes to unpack, and it looks like that's gonna be it. So it looks like we have a laptop here. Can't tell which way the hinge is. Of course, every time. Uh, let's move that a little bit further. Got a mouse. Slippers. Let's go ahead and put the slippers over here. Go okay, last box, and it looks like I got some binders here. Turn on precise placement so I can get this done a little bit faster. Notebook here, calculator, organizer, big old poster. Okay, another big old poster. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Okay, this is a very modern setup. A lot of very soft edges, lots of contrast, like the wood on the flat background, the uh, the the yellow contrasting with the uh, the flat other flat walls, and then over here it's kind of very I don't know neo traditional. It's very it's very difficult to say. It has the plants in the window, kind of offsets. There's not enough green in here for the plants to really stand out, so they're just kind of like accents. But it is what it is. All right, that should be everything. Yeah, that's all. All of in here was a. Uh, all that was in here was the bathroom, and I just finished that room, and everything appears fine. Everything. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. I actually have missed something here. Did I? I swear I just saw the exclamation point. Let me get back a little bit, see if it... No, it's not going to pop up. 
Okay, maybe it was just a visual bug. Everything in here is fine. And we did this one first, so we're good there. And that, that just leads outside. So yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, it took us long enough. I should have, like I said, kept the talking to a minimum. This one ended up much longer than I thought it was going to. Oh, I see the... I see that out there again. Maybe it's another visual bug. Yeah, it looks like it is. Of course, I'm going to check down here just to double, double around. Everything looks good, so I'm going to... 30,000? Man, we did a lot for this, but that was that's a lot more than I was expecting. I was expecting around 15 to 20. <laughs> Doubled my expectation. All right. And there it is. There it is, folks. We're going to pick it up in the next episode. Have a good one, my dudes. Cheers.